All right, it's new fish day. The fish are here. Oh, and there goes the dog. Lana, come back. Okay, the fish are here, and we're happier than a dog with a tennis ball. Yay, tennis balls! But let's focus on the fish. Today's order came from Dave's Rare Aquarium Fish, also known as davesfish.com. He specializes in rare and hard-to-find African cichlids. Give his website a check. His stock list is the stuff you dream about. I'm really excited for these fish, and I'm excited to share with you where they're going to go in the fish room. But I'm also a little nervous, because this package got stuck at the FedEx facility for an extra 24 hours. Now that is no fault of the seller, it's simply a function of today's crazy environment and logistics. So I'm very anxious to get this box open and see how the fish are doing. So far I'm optimistic because it seems packaged very well, but let's grab a bag and start checking them out. First up we have the Dimidia Chromis Compressiceps Albino. I ordered three of them. Oh, hey, he gave me a free one. That's nice. But I ordered three, and these fish actually aren't even for me. I split this order with a buddy to save money on shipping. But yeah, these fish look like they're doing very well. Here's some nice B-roll footage of an older version of this fish. I may have to get some of these for myself now. Let's see what we have next. These fish also seem to be doing quite well, and they are the Alonacara Turkus. Got three of them, and hey, he gave me another free one. That's just, that's just really nice of him. This is a pretty cool variation of a Malawian peacock. These fish are pretty young right now, but here's some B-roll footage to show you what they look like when they grow up. Anyone who knows me knows that I love blue fish, so this species definitely catches my attention. What do we have next? All right, okay, again, these fish look great, so I'm very happy with that. And yes, these are, we're now getting into the fish that I ordered for myself. What we have here are seven young Aristochromis christii, also known as the Malawi hawk. These fish get big. An adult male, like this one here, can get to be about 12 inches. That's a big fish, and I'm really excited for it. My goal with all the fish that I ordered is to one day breed them, so I got a group of seven each, hoping to get a mix of males and females. Next on plate, we have seven of the Exochromis anagenis. Again, this is a pretty big species, with some of the males approaching 10 to maybe 11 inches long. What I'm excited about is that the females also stay a colorful yellow. So far, I'm pretty happy with the fish's condition. When you're shipping fish and they get stuck at the distribution center for a whole extra day, you never really know what you're going to see when you open that box up. But I think the solid packaging has really helped out here. Next up we have the Cyanochromis fryeri from Mallory Island, also known as the Iceberg Hap. We've got four juvies in this bag, but they're getting to the point where they might start coloring up soon. Males will develop this beautiful white to blue transition across their bodies, and they really just pop against a black background. Okay, we have one bag left, and this is seven Buchachromis rhodesii. And, okay, yeah, okay, we have one DOA in here at least. So I'm going to get these fish out of the bag, assess the condition of the others. I think it's just the one, but we'll find out. Here's some B-roll of an adult, and you can tell why I'm looking forward to this fish. That is beautiful, and they also get really huge. There are some reports of them getting up to be 15 or 16 inches, so I'm excited. I was able to get the other six bucos into the quarantine tank all right. Uh, it was just the one DOA, so while you never want to see any, I'm just uh, happy that it was only one. When the box gets delayed for 24 hours in a warehouse, there's nothing really you can do about it. Again, I don't blame the seller whatsoever. In fact, I think his quality packaging made it to where we only had one DOA rather than many more. So I encourage you to check out his website and see if anything catches your eye. But what are we going to do with these fish right now? Well, first we have a quarantine period which I'm always pretty careful about in my fish room. And then after that, we're going to have to get them some time to grow up a bit. They're still fairly young. But long term, what I'm really excited about is putting these guys in my 575-gallon Malawian tank. 
I'm gonna change this thing from a peacock hap tank to just a giant hap tank and move the smaller peacocks to another setup. I'm stoked for this change, even though it's probably sometime down the road, but I look forward to sharing it with you. All right, guys, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and I hope you come back for future videos. With a basement full of fish tanks, there's always something to see.